Welcome back to the perspective. Nia, we still talk about your movie. So you found your cast and the next thing you uh, need to do is to make sure that they have enough weight and the talent that need, that's needed for this musical. Mm -hmm. Now, how different is it uh, in, your, in your professional experience making a musical and, and a normal uh, film? I'm sure it's just way more challenging because skills of different levels is needed. So uh, your views on that, how different is it, your experience? Well, this is Let's my say first from time. <laughs> uh, maybe Arisan or, uh, uh, which was fun, by the way, a big fan, also uh, the Tigadara. Well, this is your first musical. Yes, this oh. is my first musical, but I always wanted to do musical because also I'm a musical buff as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I, I never imagined that it would be this challenging mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we need to prep the actors, uh, singing and dancing. How long did that take, the preparation, well, before that, you actually that, go into production? That took about two and a half months. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I have it's, I'm so lucky that finally we got Shanti because she lived in Hong Kong, yeah. right? She lives in Hong Kong with, his, with her family. However, uh, as she read the script and then we, we did our first reading with all the talents and uh, try out the choreography and then sending videos with my choreographers, mm -hmm. she is a very disciplined uh, woman and she did all the practice herself right. in Hong Kong. Right. Right. Um, and then while the other two sisters uh, were doing it here in Jakarta. here in Jakarta. So we, they only have 11 days together with Shanti to, you know, to practice together yeah, with Shanti. To get that chemistry to together. together but, but the chemistry was there instantly because nice. when I first uh, read with Tara, Tara and Shanti first read uh, the script without knowing, even I didn't know Tatiana yet. Mm -hmm. So I cast them together mm -hmm. and have them read together. Mm -hmm. And then Shanti already told me, like, oh my God, I really love this girl. Mm -hmm. uh, she is like, like I have an instant connection mm -hmm. with her. Mm -hmm. She's like my, my own sister yeah. instantly. Yeah. So in a way, I, I'm glad, okay, these two already have that kind of chemistry, yeah. but you know, how can I find the other one? Yeah. Well, anyway, um, of course, it's hard for uh, Tatiana Akman as a newcomer, as the youngest of them all, to really have that kind of, um, you know, feeling, a uh, secure feeling. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, she felt mostly inferior towards Shanti and Tara. And, and that was also the hardest part for me to build that kind confidence. of confidence in her. Uh, and uh, to really delete all inferiority complex yeah. that yeah. Uh, she holds on. And uh, I have to thank Shanti and Tara because they are very, very kind and they are, they are like Tatiana's big sister, you know. But it's just probably she just need reassurance yeah. because sometimes <laughs> she, she was like only 20. Mm -hmm. That's very <laughs> and junior. That's very junior. Yeah. But, and they'll probably you know. come out of the movie as sisters. Yes, good yes, friends. Yeah, even <laughs> up until now, like, Kaka, where are you? Like, even the Kaka, the sister was in Hong Kong, they are mm -hmm. like always chatting in the group. Mm -hmm. But the dance and the singing is, is pretty challenging because um, they have to do a retake over and over again mm -hmm. during filming. And then Tara was in uh, one of uh, um, the most difficult action film, martial art film in, mm -hmm. of Indonesia. Uh, uh, like two years ago and then she's like oh my god this is like sh filming an action sequence mm -hmm. like having to dance and sing, uh, at, the and sing at the same time <laughs> and then act it's like oh my god this is like the the, the level of uh, uh, you know um, the heart rate yeah. level she yeah. said it's just like having the to adrenaline do kung fu is just the like just as the that. same as having yeah. to do a Would you say that's the most challenging part of you producing this movie? Or the other challenging part? Maybe funding or uh, w what was the most challenging part of making uh, Tigadara? Um, funding is always challenging <laughs> <laughs> in every movie. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, however, I think uh, it's also challenging because I choose the three sisters to be uh, in, not in Jakarta, Right, they 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 have passion in in uh, 
like building like not not exactly a big hotel yeah mm -hmm. but but they they want to develop this kind of business together uh, making a family run uh, boutique hotel all oh, right hospitality hospitality nice. they're in hospitality mm -hmm. so each of the sisters have their own uh, skills in, in the hospitality mm -hmm, business. Mm -hmm. So we, we shot in Maumere, Flores. Mm -hmm. That's, that's got to be beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful, <laughs> but it is very challenging because they didn't have any cinema in the, ta in the city. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the whole Flores doesn't have, have cin cinemas. <laughs> so they, they uh, filming and all the demand of, of film production is quite new to them so like to find catering so uh, log it's all logistical all about issues, logistical yeah. issues yeah. and as as well as uh, yeah as well as technical issues mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the uh, government PLN the company uh, they didn't realize that it took that much of an electricity so much power power to fire up all to, the cameras yes, yes. the lighting especially <laughs> and then we have to and then the generator they didn't have that big yeah. of a generator so we have to do all the technical uh, stuff from the you know the pole mm -hmm. the electrical pole the government electrical yeah. pole and we have to deal with uh, all the government officials local mm -hmm. government mm -hmm. officials but it's it's I think it's they had fun as well okay. they uh, finally discover something new yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and we exchange uh, stories we exchange uh, habits and traditions and I really love Flores people because they're one of the kindest yeah. in and Indonesia very welcome very welcoming very trustworthy all right well. we'll talk more about it when we come back after the short break